Black Lives Matter, Blue Lives Matter, two opposing messages that hardly ever overlap until they do here. I actually sat down with three black police officers here at Peel Police Headquarters to find out how they feel about the divisive messages. There's a juxtaposition of these two roles that you fill. And there's a conversation that black lives should matter. And there's also a conversation that blue lives matter. When you hear those phrases, what do they mean to you? And are they mutually exclusive? No, not at all. You know, people's lives matter. The job, being a police officer, you see, you see death and, you know, violent death uh, a, a great deal. Yeah. The concept that someone's life should mean, means less because of the color of their skin or their, you know, economic background or, or any of those peripheral issues is, is, is wrong and should be foreign to all of us. Unfortunately, it, that's not the case. This is not a zero-sum game. It's not one or the other. We need to understand that you know, there are historic reasons why black people find themselves in the positions they are. And you know, systemic racism isn't a myth. It's a fact. I, you know, I've been here 59 years. You know, I've been black the whole time. And uh, you know, the, I didn't need anyone to tell me about what systemic racism is and how it impacts your life. I've had it impact my life, but I, I also, I'm also confident that we're moving in the right direction and that the, the work that I've done and that Carissa and Brandon are doing and will do in the future will move, move that, that, that ball forward. What do those terms mean to you? I absolutely agree. Like, it's, we're in this together that we shouldn't, be divided. Like division is where we we falter and we don't we're not as strong. So all lives matter. People matter. And for you to be put yourself or a different race put yourself above one another is not what I personally um, live my how I live my life. I, I personally believe that everybody everybody matters. Tomorrow on City News, the uncomfortable truth about the uncomfortable conversations these officers are having with family, coworkers, and friends.